वेलकम बैक वीवर्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू चेक आउट द एल एस क्यू टी डेस्क टॉप ऑफ सीडक्शन ओ एस सो लेट अस स्टार्ट दिस इज द लॉग इन स्क्रीन ऑफ अ सीडक्शन ओ एस सो यू गेट अ यूजर नेम एंड पासवर्ड देर आर फाइव बटन एट द बॉटम वन इज द सेशन मैनेजर द अदर बटन इज फॉर द शट डाउन थर्ड बटन इज फॉर द रिबूट फोर्थ बटन इज फॉर द सस्पेंड फंक्शन एंड द फिफ्थ बटन इज फॉर द लॉग इन सो you can see only the xfc session is there there is uh, no separate uh, wayland or uh, wayland or xoc session so this is a X xfc session so let us input the password and get logged in to the xfc desktop so here also there is a issue with the resolution it is not properly scaled so first thing we will do is we will do the resolution settings yes this display will do the trick so we will have to increase the resolution now the resolution is perfect and we can begin with the actual uh, review of the desktop so this is the desktop area you got the trash can the file system uh, shortcut the home home uh, folder is there you got this reduction manual that we checked out in the last video and you got the IRC chat to connect with the seduction community. At the bottom, this is the XFC panel. This is the application menu. This is the minimize all windows button. These are the four workspaces that are available. This is the clipboard. This is the simple volume control along with a link to the audio mixer. and this is the network manager with the wired and vpn connections this is the small calendar this is the power manager uh, along with the toggle for the presentation mode and settings for the power manager and this is the um, button to log out restart shutdown suspend or switch user so this is the power menu so now let us begin with the application menu what is there so in favorites you got the mail reader you got the file manager this is the thunar file manager the terminal emulator is there and the web browser is there in recently used you can see here we had recently used the display that's why the display is there in the recently used and these are some other applications and this is the all application section where all the applications are enumerated here this is the settings sec uh, settings uh, section with the settings manager accessibility features network uh, manager the alternatives configurator that you have seen in earlier video the appearance section bluetooth adapter bluetooth manager clipboard uh, manager settings color profiles default applications desktop display display manager uh, settings keyboard is there so this is the keyboard manager mouse and touchpad notifications or edge calendar calendar preferences panel panel profiles power manager is there print settings volume control removal uh, media and drives screen saver sessions uh, session and startup settings editor package manager and the text editor settings along with the window manager window manager tweaks workspaces and the xfc terminal settings is there so <coughs> first is the settings manager so here you can uh, do the settings for the whole system so the appearance clipboard manager everything is there now let us try out the appearance so here you can see the different styles are available the gray bird dark is the default uh, style or theme that is applied to the seduction os xfc desktop we can change it say let us try to do a change to the uh, gray bird so this is a light thing you can see immediately there will be a change and if the change is not there we you have to restart the system and this is the change to the advaita thing so it takes some time for the icons to change according to the style so what we will do is let us check out the icon so now since we have changed the style to advaita the icon theme has also changed to the advaita so what we will do is let us go back to the gray bird dark and from here now let us try to change the icons and let us see what happens 
So let us change over to the Tango. So you can see immediately the icons have changed to Tango. These are all Tango icons. Now let us try the Gnome icons. Yes, so the Gnome icons have already been applied. It is uh, instant. These are all Gnome icons, how they look. Then the fans are dark, uh, darkest is there. It will take some time, little bit time. So these are the Fenza icon set, dark icon set. You can go with the Fenza darker. So it will be little light. So it might be a shade of gray. Darkest will be totally black. But this is a shade of gray. You can see it here. You can go with the Fenza dark. So it will be even more lighter. Now let us try the Finja ambience. So it will change the icons little bit by bit. This is how it looks. So these are only the themes that are installed. So what we will do is let us go back to the style and change the style to Greybird and then again go back with the Greybird dial. So it will also change the icon. Thing. Yes, I think it should change the icon thing to the default one. So I think we were with the pens are darker. So we will keep this uh, icon thing. Now let us check the fonts. The fonts Noto Science Regular and the Science Regular family is the default family. These are some further settings for the menu and buttons, event sounds, and window scaling. So that's it in the application, uh, sorry, uh, this appearance application. Now let us go back to the settings area and the settings manager. Now what we will do is let us check out the panel settings. So these are the typical panel settings for the XFC panel. You can back up the panel and these are some panel profiles. You can create multiple panel profiles. You can change the panel size and the rows and all those things. Lock the panel. So this is it. And rest of all the things are uh, typically XFC only. I will not go in too much detail. You can see the web browser. So the Debian sensible browser is there. So what uh, what browser is this? Let's check out what is the yes. So this is the Debian sensible browser. Let us check out. Uh, this is the browser I have seen for the first time. In last few years, lot of browsers have been launched, developed and launched by different uh, developers, different organizations. So let us try out what kind of browser is this. So it is nothing but uh, it is Firefox only. Let us check out. Yes, it is Firefox version 110.0.164 bit. So where is this sensible browser that was been shown? So what I will do is I will close this. Let us AVN. Let us try with the no. Let us try to yes. I think this will be the browser. Let us check. So this is also Firefox only. So I don't know uh, what is this exactly. What is this sensible browser? So what we will do is how to go about it. Let us yes. What we can do is let us open the manual. So we will try to open one link since the Debian sensible browser is configured as the default browser. It will open up the Debian sensible browser. I want to take a look what kind of browser it is. So let us try to open any web link if it is given here.
Let us search for any web link. Yes, this will open up the Canadian Sensible browser. Let us see what is that. But it is going and opening the Firefox only. I don't know what this Debian uh, Sensible browser is. Now what we will do is let us uh, search for the Debian Sensible browser. Maybe the search will fetch something. Okay, so this uh, Debian uh, Sensible browser is nothing but Chrome browser. Okay, what is this? Okay, it is a Chrome browser. And there is another further link is there. Let us try to open that. Okay, so this is the uh, official Debian Sensible browser help. So it is this uh, Chrome browser. So there should be a Chrome browser uh, installed. Let us try to find the Chrome browser. No, it is not there. I don't think. Uh, I think the software is incomplete. I don't know what exactly, but the Chrome browser is not there to be found out. Only the Mozilla Firefox is there. Or maybe the Mozilla Firefox uh, <coughs> contains the Chromium technologies and that's why it is uh, been shown as a uh, Debian sensible browser as the default browser and it is just opening up the Mozilla Firefox. Okay. So I think I got uh, what exactly it is. You can see here, no, but this Mozilla Firefox, uh, it is showing a, as a different entry. So I don't know whether, maybe this Mozilla Sensible Browser has been left out during the packaging. It is not there though the uh, settings, system settings are there for the, uh, uh, there for it to be the default browser, but it is not included in the packaging. It has been left out and only the Mozilla Firefox has been uh, installed. So that is what I think is the issue. So anyway, now let us check out the utilities. So the Thunar file manager is there. Only one file manager is there. So no multiple file managers. And in terminals, you got the XFC terminal as the default terminal along with the Debian X terminal emulator. So there are two terminals. In accessory section, you can see it here, the bulk rename, Baibu terminal, clipboard, font manager, checksum calculator, calculator is there, the midnight commander is there, it is a TUI, that is the terminal utility interface based file manager, along with its editor, the text editor is there, global time is there, so global time will show clock from different uh, We will have to it is very difficult yes so it is local time showing local time i think we will have to increase how it is working okay name of the clock is local time so we will have to add the different global clocks here and then it will show the different clocks i think it is this is how it is working Okay, so not a very, you can say, interesting app. The task manager is there. Let us check out the task manager. So here you can see uh, it is using around 1 GB of memory out of the 3.8. 220, uh, 282 processes are going on. CPU usage is hovering between 1 to 9%. So it is a little bit on the heavier side because of the different multiple apps that have been installed by default. You can see it here. The text editor, this is the Beam text editor, the Thunar file manager, archive manager, disk burning, text editor. Yes. 
this is the text editor that we checked out in the last so it is the zim text editor yes it is the zim text editor you can see it here so it is you can create your uh, wikis out of the notes that you have taken using this zim text editor in office section you got dictionary client document viewer the database development spreadsheet so it is a complete library of your suite is there and the calendar is there uh, along with the global time okay in multimedia you can see it here the mu multiple me music player and media players are there the screencast creator is there to easily record uh, the desktop you can check it out here so it is nothing but the voco screen ng that we i had discussed with you in the earlier video it is a great tool to record the video lot of configuration uh, available features and configuration is available you can even take photographs using voco screen of your screen you can use the uh, additional camera that is attached to your uh, laptop or desktop using the usb port so lot of uh, features are uh, available in this application do use it uh, it is a very superior application with lot of features now this this burning is there internet section you can see it here the web browser is there that is nothing but the mozilla firefox there is no uh, separate uh, debian uh, browser that was shown in the settings default application settings so it is not there the irc chat uh, client is there sss server activation and deactivations are there in graphics section you have got color picker uh, document viewer screenshot tool is there image editor image magic vector graphics edit, editor that is the inkscape drawing program is there it is from the libre office image viewer screen capture program and the image scanning program is there now what we will do is uh, <coughs> let us open the terminal i want to check out the uh, this sources list or the repos that are been configured by default for the seduction os so for that what we have to do is you have to give the command sudo slash etc slash apt slash sources sorry just a moment sources dot list and to open this sources dot list file you will require a text editor for that let us use nano if it is there or we will use uh, this beam we will also do let us click this input our password so sam is not in the sudo file so what to do but we had added this we had clicked on the uh, option during the install to add the user to the administrator so i don't know why the issue is coming up yes now we are into the root and maybe uh, running this uh, command again that is the nano uh, it is the apt sources dot list i think this will display the file okay so this file is nothing it, i think it can uh, it is dummy file only it is showing us the different links so there are multiple lists so what we have to do let us open the debian list first okay control x we'll open the debian list so nothing is there here control x extra list let us go with the extra list control x extra list why it is everything is empty control x extra updates list okay i got it so I, you have to copy this and then open it okay okay i got it control x now it will open up 
so you have to give nano yes 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 i got it now so what we will do is yes now you can see uh, the debian uh, repos are there in uh, included in the seduction os you can see the unstable repos are there unstable main contrib non free firmware so the non contrib non free firmware is there it is from the main repo then there is this uh, another repo that is the debian dash build d build d uh, dash unstable main contrib non free firmware so this is one of the repos now what i will do is i will just come out we will again go to the sources dot list so to just copy this from here control c control x control v or control v is not working we have to right click and do it okay now type nano space and remove this from the end so this is the Deb uh, debian list yes i think we have done this uh, earlier also we will come out again go to the sources list copy this copy control x nano paste yes now the extra list will work yes this is the extra list so it contains many many different uh, reduction repos for example this is the reduction office venna repo that is this stuttgart uh, dot de seduction extra so i think these are the mirror uh, repos uh, mirror repos that are been shown here dot src i think this is the source code repo you can see it is idea organization seduction or extra unstable main repo so these are all the uh, mirrors uh, containing the seduction repo those are included here so this is uh, this is called extra dot list now what we will do is uh, we will come out of this again go and open the sources list and this is the extra updates list so we will copy this come out again nano then you have to type the paste the list yes so this list contains only extra uh, some extra packages and its name is extra updates list so it contains the extra unstable dash updates main and the extra unstable updates main repo two repos are there we will now close this again open the sources list copy the fixes list so this will contain the fixes repo or we can just copy it again control uh, x nano paste so this contains the oh what what is happened i think i have done something wrong okay okay so i had done perfect thing yes so this fixes list or the fixes repo they are also there on all the mirror repos for the reduction os so you can see this is all the mirror repos and all the mirror repos contain this fixes uh, repo so it contains the fixes to make the system stable and uh, make it workable because what happens is in the unstable there are some some or other issues come up in the unstable repos of debian and uh, the seduction developers will issue uh, fixes bug fixes for those uh, debian uh, bugs and make the seduction os stable so this will contain all the bug fixes okay so we have checked out and understood the different uh, seduction os repos how they are configured so now i will close this yes one thing uh, we have to do is we have to install the wallpaper so you see in uh, seduction is not many wallpapers are there if you go in the desktop settings you can see it here only one background is there no there are multiple backgrounds but only i think two main wallpapers are there with different uh, graphical resolution you can see it here so it is even not scaling properly so we will have 
to scale it so still it is not scaling properly as it should do so what we have to do is we will install uh, application apt install it is application is called variety it contains uh, wallpapers so it is there in the debian repo so definitely the variety can be installed here you can see it here indicator fortune mod yes so we will say yes and the variety wallpaper manager will be installed so you can download uh, great wallpapers from the web and install it on your system so it will take some time because this is the first time the repos are being synced so it will take some time it is installing some dependencies also so this uh, variety wallpaper manager is a gnome shell extension app indicator so those uh, this is a dependency for the variety so along with variety this python uh, doc is being installed bsd main utils are getting installed there is some package called fortunes that is getting installed so let us see it is installing some uh, packages from the gnome desktop also for example this uh, desktop uh, this high color icon theme is from gnome there is some change to the manual database mandb so i think the installation is now done maybe we can find the icons of okay so it is updating the icons is scanning Good. okay okay the other uh, warnings are not critical so yes variety wallpaper changer so we have started the variety wallpaper changer we will close this yes welcome to variety you have to con uh, continue configure the variety okay so it will automatically start now you can configure from where the wallpaper images will be fetched so there is a favorite folder that is the favorite folder on your desktop the fetch folder that is a folder on your desktop in which the wallpaper fresh uh, fetch from the uh, web will be uh, downloaded and installed you can see it here there this folder is the default folder for the backgrounds so it is there on all the desktop so variety variety can access the wallpapers from this background folder from flickr apport bing earthview natgeo unsplash so there are different uh, options available one or two will be okay so you can see it here now what we will do is we will again open variety it will it will take some time to download the wallpapers so there are uh, effects that can be added to the wallpapers like keep original oil painting grayscale pointism uh, heavy blur soft blur pixel at ports everything is there so now what we will do is start okay so that is done so there are some further uh, configurations for the wallpaper okay so now let us see what papers are coming up let us see no i think it will require some more configuration okay change log is there okay filtering so now let us open this variety okay add to panel let us do add to panel and from uh, add to panel now we have to click on next it will change the wallpaper yes and now in the wallpaper uh, go to the desktop settings and use the stretch so now it's perfect 
so you can see here the variety is working so these are all good wallpapers you can click on next so it will apply the next wallpaper this looks very nice we can have uh, i think there is option to have a panel at the bottom history preferences go with the next let us see what happens yes this is nice one i will keep this wallpaper looks very nice so this is it this is how to add wallpapers uh, using the variety wallpaper manager so now let us see if anything else is there any anything new that is only there in the seduction os any app so most of the apps we have checked in the earlier we are in this video particularly we have checked out how to apply the different wallpapers using the variety wallpaper manager and the uh, seduction repo so seduction repo was the most important thing that we checked out so not many uh, flagship wallpapers uh, uh, flagship desktops are there in seduction only we got kd lxqt and the fluxbox will be there so the fluxbox we will cover in the next video so this video will limited to xfc desktop only so this is it uh, i think there is nothing much more to be seen it is a typical yes one thing that is pending is let us open the uh, settings you have to check the version i think it is uh, latest version of xfc let us see what uh, xfc version is there where we will check uh, or we can check it from the terminal also open the terminal emulator u name dash a you can see it here the kernel is latest 6.2.6.1 seduction 64 bit kernel is there seduction version is 6.2 dash 6 2023 313 so it is the latest uh, image that we are doing and uh, now we will have to check the accept c version for that i think we will have to open the accept c yes about section so you can see it here the version of xfc is 4.18.2 so this is the latest xfc 4.18 desktop that is available in seduction because it is based on the debian unstable so debian unstable ca carries the latest software packages latest desktops so all the latest technology that is available it is there in the debian unstable so you can see it here the latest xfc desktop uh, is there so with this, uh, I will stop the video here. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.